Nigerian soldiers on the front line combating Boko Haram have called for reinforcement of personnel and weapons, saying they are desperately running short of supplies. A soldier in an exclusive video obtained by Plus TV Africa made this outcry. The source who is on the front line confirmed the call by the former commander of Operation Lafayette Dole, Major General Lucia Guadeni, asking military authorities to send more men and weapons. Our correspondent Amadine Uyi reports. The video which first hit the airwaves revealed the former commander of Operation Lafayette Dole, Major General Lucia Guadeni, describing the situation on the battlefield against Boko Haram as worrisome. General Adeni. So the soldiers are not running. The three battalions are standing and fighting, though we have casualties. The intelligence assessment concerning the Bukit Triangle is very wrong, sir. Since yesterday, we have been met by very strong resistance, more than pockets of Boko Haram. This morning, from every flank, not less than 15 gun trucks are facing us. These people have fired more than 100 RPG at us and have fired several motors at us. And they have, and they have fired more than 100, 100 uh, RPGs and so many motors on us. This is the true situation, sir. The wounded personnel were seen on the floor. A proof of a battlefield scene. General Adeni, however, revealed the morale among the troops remained high as they were more committed more than ever to sacrifice their all for the nation. I'm here on the ground. This is General Buba here, sir. No any general is running or not leading the men. Sir, look at this soldier. They are not running away. Neither is any of them afraid. We are good to go. We are good to go, but here, now these things are working against us. Yes. Thank you, sir. However, in his swift reaction, the Army High Command redeployed General Adeni to the Army Resource Center from Meduguri to Abuja as a senior research fellow. Unconfirmed reports claim the Army High Command found the video embarrassing. Plus TV Africa has received exclusive confirmation from one of its sources on the front line, which confirms General Adeni's claim. While we cannot reveal his name and identity, his plea is a call for reinforcement as they have in recent times come under the heavy bombardment of Boko Haram terrorists. We woke up last night, uh, early this morning rather, found so dead, many dead bodies, we missed bomb blast, we don't, we don't know where they shoot it from, we lost many of our colleagues. And so please just keep praying. The government has forgotten about us because of the... We need support, we need support this year. And if we reinforce, send more people to us to just uh, make sure that we are safe. So please, help us, we need your prayers. Eh? He goes ahead to reveal his units to confirm his identity as an active Nigerian soldier in the line of duty. The defense headquarters has, however, continued to maintain that the terrorists have been incapacitated. The director of the defense headquarters directorate on media, Major General John Eneche, says they remain a shadow of themselves. We are in total offensive against our common enemies in the northeast. No more formidable force. Otherwise, what should I be telling you about one Boko Haram, six Boko Haram? That is to tell you that for us, if you analyze it tactically, up to operational level, that is good sources. Scattered, I will be picking them up one after the other. With those on the field singing a different story, it is hoped that reinforcement can arrive for them soon. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa. And joining us via the phone is security expert General Sam Moma. And also in the studio with me is still legal luminary Liberos Oshoma. Thank you, General Moma, for staying with us this morning. Thank you for having me. All right, quickly, I want to take a reaction to that video. When that video first made the rounds publicly, what was your thought on it? I surrender. Definitely, the armed forces are by Boko Haram. And I believe that of tactics, and the name of the change of tactics, because uh, the book is very vicious. Uh, they are very powerful in their offense. So we need to change completely. You don't fight a, a terrorist uh, in a conventional way. Uh, we are fighting a 
civil war against a terrorist and that is a, a kind of so we must change the strategy we to be able to combat We seem to be having a problem with the network of the major. So I'll just, um, we'll try to reconnect with you, major. Let's just take, um, let, me, let, me, let me take your reaction on this quickly. And does this in any way reinforce the, the claim by many people in so many quarters that the, the Nigerian military is highly underfunded and under-equipped yes, for this is. battle? Yes, it is underfunded and under-equipped. From um, uh, General Adini's um, even reports, yeah. Um, I, I think, uh, for me, I see nothing wrong with the report that he had made, but apart from the fact that, you know, uh, it leaked to wrong hands and then went viral. Also, the right for people to know what's basically happening in the theater of war, um, basically reporting to his commanders in Abuja, who are expected also to be in the theater of, um, the, you know, war. Uh, you have generals who sit in the office in Nigeria, and then um, you now begin to wonder, you, you know, what general should be doing, you know, in, in, in those places. I had expected when the president came on board to say he would relocate the army headquarters to the theater of, you know, but all those were rhetorics that didn't last for a while. But back to the issue. The, the question is, we have consistently said that, you know, the Nigerian army is underfunded, is underequipped, and, you know, even recently we learned, we had stories of people who are opting out of um, the Nigerian army because of all of this crisis. You know, there's need for, you know, you, sometimes I see the videos of Boko Haram members, you begin to ask yourself, if these videos are taken somewhere in Nigeria, what will it take the Nigerian army from doing area surveillance to mark these locations and actually take out these people? If you have, you know, people who are not trained, you know, being able to consistently take down those that are trained, then, then we're, we're in problem. And so that's why people had said, you know, this thing is a business for some persons because the more money we spend, the more money we go into private pocket. We saw how, you know, the former uh, service chiefs were all charged, you know, monies were discovered in, their, in, 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 in tanks and, you know, undergrounds in soccer ways because, you know, of the business of Boko Haram. Yes. And if truly we mean business... Because of the business of Boko Haram, you do say. All right, General Mama, thank you for staying with us still. Okay, thank you. Yes. Now, over and over again, we keep hearing the call for reinforcement by the Nigerian army. I mean, those in front of the battle line. How do you react to this? And what does this say of the Nigerian army? Well, I, not an issue of reinforcement. Actually, I keep saying that what we need to do is not to keep the fight with the is for us to use the appropriate force to tackle Boko. We can have special that are so well trained that you may not need troops to fight Boko. We over deploy thinking that uh, it's a game of power, but it's a game of intelligence. And this is what we are missing. So if we do that, we will not require so many troops to fight Boko Haram. So that's why we need to change strategy and that uh, in confronting Boko Haram is long overdue and we have to involve the cities of the place predominantly because they have to fight the wars of themselves. The indigenous of that northeast have to be involved deeply in the fight of Boko Haram. And this is the way I look at it. Uh, it's not possible to reinforce it, really. You know, so we're doing it the, the wrong way. Yes, and this is what. Uh, General, there, there seemed to be an, an obvious underfunding and under um, e equip, equipment for the military. Who should be held responsible for these ups and downs in the military? Well, <clears throat> well I, 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 I don't know exactly. Uh, I, I don't know why Boko Haram is better armed than we are. It shouldn't be. So uh, that uh, you know, has to be investigated and find out why. You know, which should arm Boko Haram. I mean, there shouldn't be a question of that.
But again, one is looking at the country because they are thinking faster. And therefore, maybe uh, out of corruption or out of misuse, the money, I don't know exactly what you know. But that has to be investigated because we have to see what exactly is happening. The money that is it, uh, apparently used for the work. And these are things that we want to do. All right, General Samama, retired military officer, thank you very much for joining us and for your time. Thank you so much. And also thank you for Liberus Oshoma still for staying with us in the studios.